Okay, that's the word coming in from Square Yards on the realty reality. But let's take stock of what's happening with the chip crunch and whether or not after Motown it's impacting the consumer goods segment as well. What are the demand trends ahead of this festive season? What's the growth that is likely? And uh, will the chip shortage really hamper some of the consumer goods as well? Let's uh, take stock with Nilesh Gupta, the MD at Vijay Sales. We also have with us Kamal Nandi, Business Head and Executive Vice President at Godrej Appliances and President at SEMA, joining in on the show right now. Gentlemen, hi, good morning. Good to have you both on the show. Nilesh, if I could start the discussion with you. Uh, help us understand how the region-specific festivals of Onam and Ganesh Chaturthi were ahead of the big national festivals, the Shara Diwali, etc. And what's the kind of demand that you saw? So basically, uh, good morning, everybody. Basically, Onam seems to be have been very good, and uh, Ganesh Chaturthi traditionally uh, for the last three four years doesn't uh, make a very big insight into uh, all the products, but still uh, the demand increased. So I think uh, looking back uh, this season, we are expecting uh, quite good demand. Maybe one of the best in the last three, four years. Good. Um, Kamal, are you as well anticipating a big festive upcoming season? That's the Shara Diwali. And do you expect a significant turnaround and bump up in sales? Yeah, good morning. So, yes, I, I agree with uh, Nilesh what he has said. So, if you look at Onam this year, very clearly we saw a growth over last year. Though I think uh, the whole purchase period was short given that uh, the state of Kerala was under lockdown till end of July. But the entire August month we saw a good uptake. And that's an indicator of how consumers uh, generally are going to behave during the festive. And uh, like last year, we saw that given the quarter one demands uh, not being fulfilled, there has been a pent up demand which actually gets uh, uh, you know, consumed during the festive. So this year also a similar trend. Uh, quarter one was the demand was subdued because of lockdown and therefore there is a pent up demand which is going to get consumed during the festive. So we are expecting a very good festive. Nilesh, by good morning. Nikunj also joining in. <coughs> Excuse me. My question perhaps can be split into two parts. One, what happens to the high end demand this time? A, there is a chip shortage, and we we all we both know that last year there was a compulsive binge because of work at home. So suddenly, because you are working from home, you bought an extra laptop, you bought an extra phone, you perhaps bought an extra tablet. Uh, so, do you think that end of the spectrum, which could be called as the high-end uh, consumer durable market, may take a hit because demand may not be strong and whatever demand is there, then you got a chip shortage issue? Good morning, Nikonj. In fact, on the contrary, what we are seeing is the high-end is in improving and growing at a faster rate than the average also for the simple reason is, Last year, when the people bought for work from home a laptop or a television uh, or a mobile, they basically never realized that the work from home and learn from home is going to continue and is going to be endless. Even now, we don't know whether schools will start in the next three months or six months or maybe a little more. So what has happened is all the people who bought last time, at that time, they thought okay, the, we, don't, we won't need the laptop for long. So let's buy an entry-level laptop. Now, all those people, most of them have come back and uh, said they want to upgrade it to the best because this is now going to be their life. So on the high, on the up, upgrade segment, I think there's a huge activity which is happening in the market. And this COVID has actually got a cultural shift. In fact, a structural shift, I would say, uh, in the industry because now everybody was uh, locked up in the house. And due to which, uh, I think apart from the family, the only products which they were uh, dealing with daily and which was helping them to uh, live were the consumer durables. So now where what happens is when a refrigerator is to be uh, changed, earlier it was used to be only the lady of the house who used to decide or who used to be interested in doing all everything. Today the entire house comes together and says, let's buy the best, let's buy the biggest, whether it's a refrigerator, whether it's a washing machine, whether it's a television. So I think on the premium segment, uh, we are seeing a lot of action happening. On your second part of chip shortage, yes, there is a shortage and the stocks are also trickling in. But the best part is we have a lot of manufacturers. So it's not, it's not the case where we don't have a particular segment in stock at all. Yes, if a 
customer wants a particular model or of a particular brand that at times may not be there and it he may have to wait but if he is open to change of the brand and the model i think there is no problem we'll be able to tide away this crisis also kamal uh, i'm again uh, perhaps throwing spotlight on the entire chip shortage uh, auto companies are crying and it is they're suffering the numbers which we have they indicate that because of chip shortage the auto industry will take a hit of about 150 to 200 billion dollars at godrej or perhaps at other consumer durable companies is the chip short manageable or it is now hurting so hi nikunj uh, morning so yes i think uh, uh, there is a, a shortage being felt by manufacturers even in our sector uh, that is uh, durables as well as in electronics mm -hmm. so if you look at the background if you just look at one and a half years back or two years back you will see that because of this uh, pandemic uh, for the last one and a half years uh, work from home culture or work from home structure uh, across all corporate across the globe has actually forced people to consume more it products more uh, electronic products and also i think consumption of uh, auto has gone up consumption of uh, white goods and brown goods have gone up because of entertainment because of mobility so i think everywhere we know today that chips are being used sensors are being used semiconductors are being used so suddenly there is a rise in demand and the supply there has been constrained the constraints are because of one there has been restrictions on production because of the covid challenges then you also have uh, challenges of for example you know semiconductor production requires a lot of uh, water it is a water intensive uh, production so there are challenges because of that the third challenge is uh, there has been uh, fire outages in some of the plants in japan so therefore Uh, there is a shortage of manufacturing so overall today it is clearly seen that the supply is much much lower than demand and uh, we don't foresee this to get over very soon we feel that this uh, will prolong to at least another 2 uh, years or 1 and 1/2 to 2 years for sure till some more capacity is getting built and all these uh, plants are back to their normal uh, capacity so there will be shortages there will be uh, uh, challenges in availability and as a result you will see that uh, products which which require or, or new categories new products which requires a uh, lot of the semiconductors and chips and electronics will actually uh, find uh, you know little slow paced launches going forward So Nilesh, we've talked about uh, the chip shortage last uh, year. You guys had to deal with, uh, you know, shipments uh, not coming in from China. We've talked about how this is going to be a blockbuster festive season. Red Sea has said that we could see at least from the online sales uh, worth about nine billion dollars. How are you going to compete this year with uh, the sales that are being offered by, let's say, an Amazon or a Flipkart? Are you going to be as competitive? You did do that last year. so i think that's not a worry anymore uh, because uh, yes they do get competitive on those big days but at the end of the day there is the consumer who only comes offline there is a consumer who goes only online and there's a and there is a majority of the consumer who toggles between the two so i think uh, what all uh, the online players are doing yes at times they do hurt us but overall if we see in a nutshell they are always helping us to increase the market pie and that helps us a lot so i think it's not a great worry at all or always we are able to match it only problem comes when they are uh, giving exclusive models uh, where they have a lead for a uh, say a week uh, when uh, the brands give them exclusive model to launch i think that's the only period which is a worry otherwise i think it's totally manageable But Nilesh, it's also the era of super apps, right? And now you're seeing conglomerates uh, uh, come out with super apps. Uh, today, Dani is talking about a B2C consumer app. Tata's uh, plans we already know about. Geo is headed in that way. Uh, so since we have you here, then what will happen with Vijay Sales? So what I feel is, if uh, super app succeeds, 
then uh, mostly maybe a last section of the consumers will get hooked onto the consumer onto the super apps and they'll be hooked onto all the platforms but at the same time uh, i think the question which uh, i always answer to this question in mine is swiggy is always there now but what is happening is swiggy is adding on to the uh, palette of the uh, customers at odd hours more than the normal hours and still if you go today also in spite of the fear of uh, covid you find restaurants are totally booked so i think online and offline is here to stay super apps will come when when these amazon and flipkart came in everybody thought it's the end of the offline but i think offline has only grown so the basic question is anybody who is changing with the times whether it's offline online hybrid model they will survive somebody who gets stuck where where he was i think that's going to be a disaster so we for sure are in fact we always thrive in competition i always say in 2007 if uh, other retailers would not have come in we would have not been uh, even half the size today what we are uh, today so i think we at least vijay sir thrives in competition happens in the era of uh, super apps uh, my final question and i'll give this one to mr nandin mr nandin you know, we've covered a lot of the issues that are being faced ahead of the festive season uh, the big one is that uh, there will obviously be no price hikes i would imagine going into the festive season but does that mean that you know soon after diwali etc consumer uh, durable companies companies like yourselves will have no choice but to pass on then the higher higher raw uh, material cost to consumers so uh, aisha if you look at how things have panned out over the last uh, good now 9 months is that uh, price hike had been to the extent of about 21 22% so far because of commodity and freight and everything uh, now out of the 22% price hike during on the cost side uh, as an industry we have been able to take so far about 15% recently uh, the last one was in august at at about 3% so uh, another 7% gap is still there we are not seeing much signs of uh, you know correction so far so at, unless you know uh, i think little be seen in in resins and in chemicals but not much in steels or copper or uh, aluminum i think so, uh, aluminum is going up copper is going up steel is more or less consolidating so uh, we don't foresee uh, commodity prices to go down we don't foresee the logistic challenges of uh, container availability and um, blank selling and high exports those uh, reducing the freight cost and therefore i think uh, given that you know the festive is a very important uh, time for the industry about 30% of sale happens this time uh all brands uh, would try to keep the prices same till festive not to dampen the sentiments right now uh and after the festive given how the commodity behaves if it starts showing a decline or correction then we may not go in for any further hike but if it does not then definitely there is a price hike post festive expected Kamal, both of you, great to have you both on the show and uh, join in with your insights. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Nikunj. Thank you.